Pro keeping you well today. Welcome to the show, Dating and Development. If you know who I am, blessings to you all. Sending positive vibes your way. Jesus Christ. Anyways, before we get started, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Lovely. Let's get moving. Relationship focused men. Snap out of it. Easy, just snap out of it. I know it's easier said than done. But if you are a man who is purely focused on the relationship, who is so relationship orientated, I can tell you from experience, not just from me, but from other people I know, and by other countless stories I've come across, that it's not going to bite well for you in the long run. Trust me, it is not. But why? Why? If you're putting the relationship before everything else in your life, that kind of shows you don't have much else going on for you. It doesn't really show that whatsoever. And women will ultimately pick up on this. Because, you know, if you're focusing too much on her, you're giving too much of your attention to her, you're not keeping that mystery. You're not being assertive. You're always making time for her. Then she's ultimately going to take that for granted. You are no longer a mystery. You are giving all of you to her, which you shouldn't be. In which you shouldn't be. Because look, before the relationship even started, when you were dating, everything was going right. The attraction was there. You knew the attraction was there. By her busting your nut every goddamn time you saw each other. But as you get into a relationship, when you get lost in the emotions, if you allow that, what will happen is gradually, bit by bit, you become complacent. You'll start catering to her every demand. You'll start catering to her needs. You'll start making all the time in the world for her, but not making time for yourself. And while this is all going to be rainbows and butterflies, at the start, she might appreciate it. But as time goes by, she's ultimately going to resent it. She isn't. Because you're not the man you used to be. You're not. What you're turning into there is the typical nice guy. The guy she can have her way way with. The guy that is not going to stand his ground. Women don't want that. They don't want you to focus on the relationship. Women focus on the relationship. They're the relationship nurturers. They nurture it. And women know fine well how to nurture a relationship more than men do. They can. That's my experience, but if you want to argue, by all means necessary, leave in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your take on it. And if you are becoming so relationship focused, there will be a switch going on in her head that will flip. Now, she might not notice that at first necessarily, because it'll be more of a, at a subconscious level, really, looking at it. So take, for example, you're always putting her first. You're always making time to see her. You're not focusing on herself. Chances are is that she can become distant. She could become very distant. And you ask, what's wrong? You seem distant. Oh, I don't know why. And then you have to realize that if, is that she starts becoming distant in a relationship. Either one, she could be testing you. But if you're so focused on the relationship with her, then you should know exactly what the answer the problem is. The problem is you and your approach to it. And I've said this countless times in other videos, is that if you put pressure on a woman to be in a relationship, when you put pressure on her to feel emotions she's not ready to feel, she's going to run away. But that also is due to you being extremely desperate to be with her. Yes, I get that men are very focused and goal orientated. We like the end result. But when it comes to chasing women, 
when it comes to relationships with women or wanting to be in a relationship with women you have to delay that gratification you have to delay the gratification of the end goal when you talk about it exclusively she should be the one to bring it up not you because what happens if you bring up that exclusivity straight off the bat and she didn't and you're what two three months into dating it ruins the mystery she knows exactly where she lies now is this playing games well everyone plays games in relationships don't they no i know i advocate for being honest and direct and honest with your intentions should i say But you have to understand how to keep attraction there. You have to understand this concept of her having actual genuine desire for you. If you're going to bring up exclusivity or pushing for a relationship, then it's going to say a lot about you in her eyes. If you think about it. So the thing is, what is the cure to this? What is the answer to not becoming very relationship focused? The answer has been in a lot of my videos as well. I've also said the answer a lot of the times. Be on your purpose and your life's mission. When you see yourself getting too needy with her, you have to ask yourself, is this going to raise her attraction? Or lower it and more often than not it's going to lower her attraction towards you when you're putting your mind and your focus onto your purpose in life or your life's mission you're going to create that att that attraction that tension there because you're not giving all of your validation to her your energy and your time is being spent on something productive on something that's going to give you a lifestyle you want or some or get you somewhere where you want to be and when you divert your attention away from her she's going to have that time to miss you or and think about you and to reflect upon things and when you divert your attention away it's going to kind of create that separation anxiety a small bit and that's where she'll reach out to you to see how you're doing and that and that's the case just make a date straight off the bat to arrange seeing each other easy as easy as so literally your answer to kind of turning things around is to focus on your life's mission and purpose don't spend all your time and energy on her it's not going to bode well trust me on that one